What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mohawk Motors. My name is Jason. So it's time for, I'm going to call it the most complex part of this swap, and that is the electrical, the wiring, getting it all to work. So I'm going to get you caught up and hopefully wrap this wiring up today and uh, have this thing ready for a first start very, very soon. Flashback. I haven't pulled the harness off of the 454 and the stock transmission yet. I'm going to do that next because we're going to need a lot of that wiring. But first, I'm going to go through this harness from the donor truck. This is the stock harness. It was on the engine um, from the 2006 2500 HD. There's a bunch of stuff in this that we don't need. So we're going to get that stuff out of the harness. Uh, trim down, get all the sheathing off, everything else, all the looming, so we have access, we can get what we need taken off of it. We'll leave our pigtails out for the wires that need to be integrated into the, the stock 99 harness, because there's, there's a bunch of wires that need to connect into that harness for everything to work the way you want it to. And uh, basically just get started on the slow, tedious process of delooming, weeding, and then rerouting all of the wiring for this engine. So, I guess nothing to it but to get to it, right guys? Just got to get started and get going. So, let's go. All right, well, that took forever. There's all the tape and looming that was damaged that we're not gonna use or need anymore. We've got our stripped out harness. So next step will be pulling out the stuff I don't need. So it's the next day, still working on wiring on this thing. That's whoa. But we're getting, we're making some progress. So I've got the harness from the six liter. I, I think this is pretty much ready to go now. Um, I took out the wiring and plugs for the rear O2 sensors and the EVAP purge solenoid. We're not gonna be using those. Now I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff I'm gonna have to connect, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cut or remove anything else from this harness yet. I just got done de-looming the original harness to the, the Suburban, the 99 harness. Now, this harness is going to get a lot of it taken out. All of the engine control stuff, injectors, coils, uh, distributor, cam and crank position sensors, all of that stuff, oxygen sensors, all of that has got to get stripped out of this harness. We don't need any of it. Essentially what I'm doing here is I'm going to use the, the LS engine harness is going to be set up to run basically as a standalone. The Suburban, the, not, the O, the OBS harness is going to be set up to run all the other stuff integrated into it. So this even connects over to your HVAC controls, um, the under hood light. Oh, what else? Fuel level sensor, coolant temperature sensor, because this is an analog, whereas the LS stuff is digital. Um, all of those functions I need to re retain. The air conditioning stuff is actually going to be 
hybrid controlled. I, I don't know a better way to explain that, but I'm going to have to connect some wires from this OBS harness into the LS harness so it all cross communicates, does what it needs to do. So the air conditioning will work, all of the gauges will work, uh, all of that stuff will function as it should. The OBS or the, the LS computer will run all that stuff just like it would have with the stock computer. We just need to essentially tap into the stock connectors and that sort of stuff. So uh, it's pretty boring. It's not great video. So I'm just going to get to work depinning and weeding out everything that I don't need from this harness, from the Suburban harness. And then I'll bring you back when it's time to start mating the two together. All right, team. So my assortment of wires taken out of the harness. My thinned down harness for the 98 or 99. This is the original harness from the Suburban. Hopefully I didn't take anything out of it that I might need. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but not all the way sure. And then this thing uses this other jumper harness. I think this is for the, for the four wheel drive stuff. So I'm stumbling through here. This is really, this is one of the more difficult harness reworks that I've done so I'm gonna keep trying to move along on it I'm done for today but I'm gonna keep trying to move along on it and hopefully I'll be able to tell you guys what worked what didn't work etc etc as I get further into it so I'll bring you back when I make some more progress all right everybody so it's another day I'm working on this wiring and uh if I remember correctly, I left off on getting both of the harnesses weeded out. So I've got them both 90% weeded out. There's still some odds and ends. I did make the mistake. I didn't label what all the connectors went to when I pulled the harness off of the 98, the original harness. So I had a few connectors I wasn't sure about. I had to leave those on until I got it run back into the truck. So now I've got it here. You can see I've got it roughly laid out where I want everything to be. My main harness back here is going to run behind the engine. You really won't even be able to see it. Come back up and over, reach up to the stock fuse panel, which is still going to power most of what we need. And then uh, I use just little zip ties to kind of loom all the wire together how I want it. And then once I have it all laid out, run where I want it to run, I'm going to pull it back off, get it all tidied up, pull out the last few wires that I'm not going to need, and then I'll tape it, loom it, and then put it back in for good. And then it'll be here. That's it for that piece. And then... I get to do the same thing with the LS harness. The nice thing about that is it's already pretty much routed for this engine. I'm going to have to move, probably extend the alternator wiring a little bit. And then same, uh, actually that might be the only thing. The AC compressor is running off the 98 harness. Yeah, that should be pretty much it. I'll just have to move the alternator wiring and everything else I should be able to just keep it how it was run from the factory so I'm gonna get this harness back out get it loomed up taped up ready to go back in for the last time and then I'll do the same thing with the LS harness and then get them both put back in the truck again slow not that exciting stuff I'll bring you back when I have something something to show you all right team well i'm out of time for this thing for today but i did at least get to it's a good enough stopping point for me right so let me show you where i'm at i've got the 98 harness and fuse panel all thinned out trimmed up And 
and routed. It's all loomed, everything taped and loomed up nicely, so we shouldn't have any chafing problems or anything like that anywhere. So, it looks good, it's neat, it's tidy, and uh, if I've done it correctly, everything should work. I should have a functioning oil pressure gauge, I should have functioning coolant temperature gauge, um, I should have functioning tachometer, the gas gauge should work. Yeah, all the gauges should work and the AC should work also. We won't know until we start it up, but uh, I'm gonna pick up on it tomorrow, get the, the original harness to the LS finished up, put on, mocked, routed, loomed, and then put into place. And then we'll get these pins from the 98 harness pinned into the PCM connectors where we need them. And then hopefully be ready to try to get this thing started. It's uh, I keep telling myself, we're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. Almost there. So close. So just got to keep grinding through it. All right. So I'm pretty sure I've got all the original 99 harness thinned out, wired back in, loomed up, put where it needs to be. Now I need to finish with the 2006, the LS harness. Now this one... Let's see, what do I have left to do? I need to pull wiring out for the, uh, for the range indicator. We're not gonna need that. I can pull out the air conditioning wiring because we're not going to be using that. And, oh, I think that's actually all. I think that's all we got to get out of it. It's just the air conditioning wiring because we're using the air conditioning stuff original of the truck and the range switch wiring. Hopefully it won't take too long and then we'll get it all laid out, draped onto the engine in the truck, loom it, and then plug everything together. Oh, and I have to add all the wires from the 98 harness or the 99 harness to these connectors. Fortunately, they share the same end pin style, so they'll just slide right in there. That's getting ahead of myself though. Let's just get this wire harness thinned out, ready to go, and then loomed up. All right, so I've got the harness, the original 06 engine harness, thinned out the stuff that I don't need is out of it and uh, I'm getting it draped back across the engine here hooked up laid out so I can uh, get ready to loom it up and then put it in for the final time now uh, this is kind of one of those parts where your attention to detail and taking your time to do it right makes a big difference so I just figured I'd give you guys a little glimpse into it here, show you what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, you know, this stuff, if you want it to look good, it takes time. So that's what I'm doing now is taking the time. And when I do this, typically I'll get the PCM mounted where I want that to be, and then I'll just work my way out from the PCM. So. I've got my connectors in obviously now because the PCM is going to be closer to the engine than it was uh, in the stock location when it was you know in the 2006 truck I'm gonna have a little extra wire length over here so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm more than likely gonna loom it up as tightly as I can and just let it kind of hang over here away from the exhaust and the hot parts and now I've got all my injectors plugged in on this side, my coil pack plugged in, and I've got my transmission wires and connectors draped down. So I'm going to get everything uh, zip tied together on this side of the engine in a way that I like it, that will be visually appealing, 
when it's all loomed up and there will be enough wire to reach all the connectors get things on and off if you need to and then I'll move on I'll get the stuff on the transmission plugged in zip tied up loomed up put where I like it and then I'll just work my way around the uh, around the engine bay here uh, I am going to extend the wires for the transmission or not the transmission for the alternator control plug because I want to keep those wires in the harness so it has a nice clean look but otherwise everything looks like it's going to reach and go to where it needs to go so uh, yeah I'm just going to keep getting after it here and I'll bring you back when I'm done extend these wires and then uh, finish laying this out but that gives you guys an idea at least of, you know it takes time to make it look nice all right everybody I'm out of time for the day I did manage though I've got this harness loomed it's ready to go in it's got all the branches on it so I'm gonna get that put back in tomorrow morning and then I have to connect my powers to the sub harness, get my tack module wired and plugged in, and then get all my wires from the 99 harness pinned into the ECM, the PCM connectors. And then, then we should be ready for a first start attempt on this thing. It, uh, you know, just for perspective, from where I started on this harness this morning, which was pulling out the last few circuits that I didn't need, to this, I started at 9 o'clock this morning and it's 4.30 now. So, this stuff takes time. I'm sure there are people that can do it way faster than I can do it. I, I'm sure there are. But if you're thinking about doing this yourself and you want to have it look clean and factory, be prepared to spend an entire day just removing weeding out your harness and then looming it back up getting everything routed to where it needs to be routed so not complex not not technically difficult just time consuming all right everybody it's the next day so i got the ls harness all back in place routed loomed taped up draped hung plugged in connected all of the engine part that's all ready set go so now the next thing i need to do here is start getting start getting my wires and pins from the 98 harness excuse me the 99 harness moved over and pinned into the 2006 PCM connectors. The nice thing is these pins, they're exactly the same. So all I have to do is take these wires 
move the ones into that position in the connector, the blue and green connector for the LS. And that'll give me my functionality on all those pins and all those things. And then all I'll need to do is get my powers, my switched powers and my battery constant powers hooked up, which that's easy. It'll just be on its own little standalone uh, fuse panel. And then should be ready to start. I did give myself a little, a little pep. Watch this. Ha! Ah. It cranks off the key, so. We've got rotation, that's the first thing. Now we gotta get it all the other supplies it needs. Fuel, spark, timing, etc., etc. So I'm gonna keep moving pins from the 99 harness into the 2006 connectors. And, uh, and then I'll do the standalone panel to supply the injectors and the coils with power. What's up everybody? So, <laughs> It's actually the next evening now. It's been another full day out here, wiring, getting stuff put where it needs to be, tracing stuff out, getting my little standalone fuse relay panel put down here. I finally, finally have this thing ready. It should start. So to catch you up with what I've done here, I ran my little three relay, three fuse panel. I have two relays for the ignition coils, one relay for the injectors and switched powers to the PCM. My uh, 12 volt power, I was able to just splice into one of the 12 volts that I no longer needed from the 99 harness. I just used that, spliced it into the 06 harness and uh yeah i know this is not the most comprehensive and well explained video on what you need to do there honestly are a lot of people that are a lot better at this go watch their videos um, i'll try to put some of the links in the descriptions for you of videos and information i watched and found to be able to do this and uh, lt1swap.com. He's got a very extensive write-up, every all the information you need. Uh, so between that and other people's videos, use that for your wiring info, guys. I just, I'm humble enough to say that I am not the person to tell you how to do this. So it's all there. It's ready. Should start off the key. Let's. Uh, you're probably gonna fall here, but. Let's do it. That's it for this one guys. I already feel like this is probably going to be an extremely long video to try to show you what little information I could share on top of everything else. You know, uh, it's been an extremely frustrating project. So at least it finally runs. Maybe tomorrow I can button things up and see if it'll actually drive. And if it runs and drives, I'm going to tidy it up and ship it. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, maybe I can 
salvage some kind of useful information out of this for you. And uh, until the next video, everybody, take care.